Hello everyone, welcome back to Anuman's journey. If you are new, I am Vansi Kadat and I am Anamika Pandey. So in this video, we are diving into one of the most prestigious scholarship in India for PhD scholars. So without a further ado, let's get started. Prime Minister Research Fellowship. If you are aiming for the top tier research in India, then you don't want to miss this opportunity. So let's get started. PMRF scheme has been designed to improve the quality of the research in various areas. So today in this video, we are going to talk about the eligibility criteria, how to apply for the PMRF, how many ways are there and which institute can grant the PMRF scholarship. There are various PMRF granting institutes like IITs, IISERs and IISC. Also, top 25 NIRF ranking central universities and NITs. These all are called PMRF granting institutions. And each PMRF granting institutions have different uh, seat allocations. For example, top 10 NIRF ranking institutes get 3.5 of the existing PhD scholars. And then uh, top 11 to 25 gets 2.5% and the remaining all get 1.5% PMRF seats. Next, we talk about the eligibility criteria. Candidates can apply for the PMRF in two ways, direct entry and lateral entry. And of course, there are some conditions which you must follow before applying. Let's talk about the direct entry channel. So in the direct entry channel, the applicant should complete or be pursuing the final year of four or five year undergraduate or five-year integrated MTech, or two-year MSc, or five-year undergraduate postgraduate dual degree program in science and technology stream from some ISCs or IITs, NITs, IISERs, etc. And also there are CGPA requirement that has to be eight plus, and sometimes it varies eight point five plus as well. Like in our case, when we had applied for PMRF, that time it was eight point five plus. One more thing I want to mention here: in PhD, we have to do six coursework in the first year of the PhD. So in that way, if you are taking four subjects for the first semester and two subjects for the last semester, then your four subjects CGPA will matter. So if your four subject overall CGPA is 8.5 or 8 plus, then uh, you are eligible for PMRF. And if you have taken somehow the three subjects only, then your uh, graduation or uh, post graduation CGPA will matter. So in that way, if uh, somehow your CGPA is less than eight, or 8.5 so you must uh, take four subjects in uh, first year of your PhD so that you can get uh, you can maintain the proper CGPA like 8.5 or more than that so that you can apply for the PMR. The metrics on which a candidate will be judged are like their research exposures how many internships like uh, how many seminars conferences workshops they have joined also about their grades how which grade they have got and uh, the recommendation letters also their publications list if they are having publications also one more thing like the international competitions for example math olympiad etc so if you are having them then collect all of them and get ready for it all the best once you are all set you will get the information from institute side that uh, it's time to apply for it and you can just apply for it and get selected through the institute. Once you get selected from your institute side itself, then you have to prepare your documents. One of the most important document is your research proposal. For the research proposal, it's basically what research you are going to do in your PhD. You will be introduced with your broad area of research and you have to select what kind of work you are going to do. And those kind of works and their importance, applications, etc. you have to mention in your research proposal. So they will first check your uh, research proposal, how strong it is. If you have already qualified whatever earlier uh, detailed we have mentioned, then if your uh, proposal is also strong, then getting PMRF becomes easy. Now we'll talk about the lateral entry. For that, if you are applying PMRF uh, through the lateral entry, then you must be pursuing your PhD and you must have completed one year of your PhD uh, from some institute which is granting PMRF and through the lateral entry you can apply twice for the PMRF scholarship. Also one more condition is there that you must complete your four coursework in your PhD with 8 or 8.5 CGPA. The CGPA requirement might vary. 
it might be 8.5 or more than that or sometimes it is just 8 uh, cgpa each pmr of granting institute recommends 1.25 Uh, times more students than the number of existing seats are there so in that way if you uh, if all the like lot of the students are having the cgpa 8.5 plus and uh, they get that many uh, that number of students then the uh, like the requirement for the cgpa will be 8.5 and if it is not the case then they might reduce the cgpa requirement still my advice is that make the cgpa as 9 plus or 8.5 plus at least because uh, entire institute students are applying for it and there are so many people who have lot of lot of uh, like certificates for uh, attending conferences or workshops or uh, internships etc so that counts you should be having a valid grade score or similar kind of national level examinations also there is one positive factor for iits and iisc scholars that they can directly apply for it if they are having the cgpa above 8 every year top uh, 25 nir ranking institute or central universities changes and you can get it online what are these uh, some of them i can name like jnu du banaras hindu university university of hyderabad jmi amu etc however i will advise you to check it online because it changes every year So in this video we have talked about what is PMRF and how to apply for it it's uh, all procedures and required documents but since video is getting long so we'll uh, talk uh, more about PMRF in the second part where we'll uh, like talk about the advantage disadvantage and what are the fellowships uh, you are going to get and uh, what kind of other uh, scholarships or uh, other opportunities you are going to get further I hope you enjoyed this video and if it was informative to you then please hit like share and subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates and the part 2 of this PMRF video exactly thanks for watching bye 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 bye